guys, I am Chris Kaler. And I'm Amber Foster Kajin Cosplay, and today we're back with you guys with Shadow and Bones, episode <laughs> 4. Yes, the Otkazatsya. Sorry <laughs> about the pronunciation. <laughs> episode 4, then. <laughs> yes, uh, last episode, what happened? Well, uh, Alina is suddenly in the little palace, and she's training. Not everyone is happy for her to be there. No, <laughs> no, no. Some people are blaming her for, you know, taking her time at getting ready to get rid of the fold because they all agree that if both sides of Ravka were together, they could better defend her borders and fight this war. So, and I mean, the fold has been there for a while and it's been making their lives miserable. And if she gets rid of the fold, there's a good chance also that Grisha's are gonna be looked at differently. So mm -hmm. there's a lot of expectations on her shoulders, and, but people are uh, unrightfully, you know, calling her out on her lack of of interaction with, uh, well, with the fold, so. I don't, I don't remember for how long she is at the little palace, but for now she doesn't seem to be really interested in training and becoming stronger well she doesn't she doesn't understand her place here she doesn't she doesn't feel like she belongs and she like she feels this weight on her shoulders and she's like i have to like they look at me like i have to do this shit this miracle but i have no idea how she can't even make that power work she doesn't really believe it and that's what the, the woman who's supposed to train her with her power said to come back when you believe that you're the chosen <laughs> so, sort of so yeah. that's for Alina, uh, back mm -hmm. in Ketterdam, they, well, it's not back in Ketterdam anymore. <laughs> no, because they crossed. Yes, uh, thanks to Jesper and, and the goat, <laughs> he stayed calm and he managed to shoot a, a bunch of monsters. It was badass, but they mm -hmm. have crossed, so they are on the right side. They'll make their way to the little palace. It's not going to be as easy as they thought because they were supposed to have Nina. But and she they got won't. captured, so yeah. yeah. So uh, let's just jump in this episode and see what happens next. All right. I'm very excited. <laughs> let's go. Dear Alina, weeks gone and still no word from you. This is my third letter. So I'm. No one is posting those letters, which is bullshit. My unit. I tried bribing a scholar to get word to you. He laughed at me. I petitioned the lieutenant to write to the little palace on my behalf. Before he dismissed me, he asked, What is she to you anyway? A friend. They keep talking about, you know, if, erasing the differences and accepting everyone and to be accepted, but then they act like this. Senya, a new open assignment has come down from us, Alta. Every unit north of Chernest is tasked with volunteering a tracking party. General Kerrigan is offering a visit all the way to the Little Palace. They can. I will test tribute. <laughs> oh, is it oh. to help Alna become stronger? I knew the drawing was yours. The ancient mythical creature. Boy, Except challenge accepted. If you please. So basically, the try to find this mythical dead. creature. I'll do it. Of, of course, course. Gonna do it. I wouldn't be surprised if he found it too, you know. I think she's gonna need it anyway. Now that we're three days travel from the capital, the next player is finding a way inside the little palace. Turns out the Kabirsk archives house the little palace blueprints. But they're kept under lock and key. His specialty! <laughs> Back in business, I guess. Once more. I have a job for you. <laughs> we need to hitch your IDs to the little palace. Make friends. <laughs> Good luck. If he truly did not believe he could do it, he would not have asked. True. He won't, you know, leave that up to chance. When I was a boy, I used to run away and hide here. Once I realized that I was a descendant of the most hated Grisha in Ravka. Make a wish in the fountain. And I could be anyone else. I mean, she, she's gonna relate a lot. This is her story, isn't it? You know it just from these old pictures? Of course. Hundreds of years ago, Anastas, the king, hired a Grisha as his military advisor. The heretic grew hungry for more power, and the king, fearing a coup, Put a bounty on his head and any Grisha that stood by him. The heretic knew he was outnumbered, 
so he attempted to create an army of his own using the same forbidden science Moritz Ober once used to create his amplifiers. But he failed. He created the fold instead and was killed by it, along with countless others. I wonder if the actual story is that or if they lied about it. Was I it wouldn't be the first believe. time. Yeah. I have devoted my life to undoing the great sin of my forebearer. But I'm never seen as the solution. Only as a reminder of the problem. Well, that would suck. Especially since he's been fighting against this for a long time and he can't even fucking enter the fold. <laughs> I'm your solution. Only if I fail, I'll turn on me. What did we say last episode? Wait! <gasps> I should be right by your side. You and I are going to change the world, Alina. Well, he likes her. She's his price possession. <laughs> Although what we talked about last episode about him that he maybe might, wanting uh, to overthrow the king, king is still there. Yeah, him saying we're going to do great things together could be a good and a bad thing, true. Watchmen are on guard around the clock. <laughs> and get out as Red is so not the color, man. That means the hardware stays in the holster, Jasper. Ugh, fine. I'm you know, so the ready the for this. It's above the repository where the blueprints to the little palace are kept. Got it. That's my way in. Just watch him act. Thank you, sir. My name is Ivanovsky, the sculptor. Yes. All right. <laughs> I'm in desperate need of your assistance. I'm working on a real showstopper for the winter fate. I need the dimensions to the little palace entrances. The grand piece may be too grand to fit through the door frame. The king will have my head if his statue must be parked in the courtyard. Damn to fight. <laughs> Wait here. With bated breath. Confidence is key. Oh the nice. The repository is secured and tied behind a two-part lock mechanism. You have to leave the way you came in. I love this sunsets, guy. When you go in, Jasper, <sighs> you need to blend in. Easy. The lighting valves are on the second floor. <laughs> I know that this show is technically not about them right now, but Jesus Christ, they're they're MVPs. The archivist has to pull them a number of times a day, so we can't steal them without knowing something is oh, up. Boy. So, make a copy. But careful. If you're heavy-handed, you'll bleed the ink. I know what I'm doing. They are so good at their fucking job. Valve was turned off. I don't know how. Where's Lev? Fight him. Hurry up. Maybe it's her moment to shine. <laughs> Not even a sound. No. That's her strength. She wasn't even fucking hiding. She was behind him. <laughs> oh boy, I love these guys. Oh boy. <laughs> if this doesn't make you excited for Six of Crows. <laughs> Well, they did a great job for helping them out for the the time where we'll do this season. I know, I know. Pros. Not that the other storyline isn't great because it is. <laughs> Bit slow on the draw, though. Or just in time. Oh boy, I love these guys. I love them. I know I said it a few times. This episode only. I'll never get tired of saying it. When Kerrigan touched me. General Kerrigan can't be your crutch forever. True. And the use of amplifiers is a barbaric, lazy practice. You could practice. at least try to be encouraging. I'm not your mother, but I guess you'll always be looking for one of those. She's pushing your buttons. There she is. Welcome. Well, it's true that usually... That should be taking effect. What? She fucking drugged her. 
Okay. Do you think that she might have a blockage of some sort? Usually powers are really linked to your emotions. What day is this? The day the testers came. Thought you could hide. Well, you're wrong. We cannot test him like this. His injury makes it impossible. You stay with me then, boy. I was tested. Oh, she gave a piece of the porcelain. I need the test to see sudden pain to detect Grisha power. But it wouldn't show if I was already in pain. So I protected myself. Oh. She is not Grisha. Mm -hmm. She's intelligent, though. Like, that, that was good. But you think that... She knew that she was Grisha, but she didn't she want never, to leave. She never. I don't think she knew. Maybe she felt it, but uh, I think I. She said many times that you know she was doing this because she was afraid of being separated from Mal. So yeah. that's just this. I wasn't aware as Grisha. Yeah, th there you go. I was just doing whatever I could to not be separated from Mal. You protected yourself by denying yourself. But she keeps denying herself now that she found out. I wasn't thinking of me. I was thinking of him. We planned to run away together. You had plans, perhaps he never did, because where is he now? <laughs> He's finding a way to get here. I hate how they portray him as the reason she's not powerful. I get what she's doing. It's a shitty thing to do to her, though. I think they are. Taking the letters apart so that she's feels that she feels alone. Yeah, because like they keep saying that Mal is the reason she cannot, you know, use her power correctly. Because because of him, she Together. puts herself down. Okay. I think it's gonna work too. Together. She feels this like he abandoned her. Your little friend from Ramsin. This is her little friend. Which is bullshit. We all know that. She might be questioning if he mattered, she mattered to him as much as he mattered to her. Needing anyone else is weak. Oh. But then it's gonna awaken her power fully. She did it is bad though. Now the work begins. Oh. Truth is, I feel bad. How crazy would it be if he was also Grisha? He was never tested either. Oh boy. What is it? Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh fuck. Oh fuck. Right, here you go. Cool. Oh man, oh, I hope no one dies. Because that thing is fucking good. Well, who threw the... <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Careful! Uh -huh. um, no, 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 it's no. his shoulder. It, I mean, it's not that bad. According to TV business. show logic, it's not that bad. <laughs> I need you to do something for me. Erase it? No. Erase it. I hate this! He's suffering for her right now. Oh, yeah, you won't survive that. Oh. Both of them are dead. Fuck, it's gonna feel so bad. He chose to go on that journey to find that stag for Alina. And they went with him because they're his friends and both of I them know. are dead. I know. I'm so sorry. 
It's tagged. But when you don't look for it, it shows up. Well, there you go. Could have you shown earlier, please? No. It's, it looks majestic. But... Alina, if you get this letter, know that when I told you about True North, I was talking about you. You are my true north. Fuck! And I can see my way to you now. I hate this! Oh my boy! Oh, okay. It's really... But it's yeah, sad because that tag I... is really majestic. Yes, I know. It's fucking sad! Last episode was about her, you know, calling him uh, her true north and about, you know, keeping that, that connection alive even though they were separated. And then he's doing the same exact thing. He's suffering for her. He's working hard to, you know, he lost friends to get back to her. He's working so hard and he's actually alone. And she lost faith in him because I, I, I cannot say for sure who's bad and who's not bad and who has good intentions and who hasn't, doesn't have good intentions in this show so far. But it feels to me like they are, they are all working so that, you know, she, she, she really breaks that connection. Yeah. Not just the woman who you li literally, you know, used this connection as a way to beat her down and make her realize that she needed to leave it behind. Even Kirigan is like, it's like, I don't know about him. It likes, it's maybe like he, he was alone for so long. You know, he was, he was, a, a, you know, a general and stuff and people looked up to him. But being who he was, he was separated in his own way is for so like long. Is he only Shadow Summoner though? Ah, because we've seen a bunch of uh, Anthony Heartbreakers. And I don't stuff, know if he's the only one there is. Like I, I don't think they called him as rare as she was, but it looks like he's the only one like this. And he said himself that he was a descendant of the guy who created the fold. So it like it also puts a lot of weight on his shoulders. So in a way, he's very similar to her. But I feel like he, contrary, um, you know, compared to her, never had a friend like Mal to depend on. So now that he's found someone who could wear his colors, who could re re relate, who could connect with him, and who could finally cast his sh cast away his shadows and help him solve the you know mm -hmm. the the problem that his ancestor created, yeah. that would change his life. So he puts all his hope into her, and he wants her for himself. You know. You, you know, I I really don't want to. Think badly about the general Kerrigan. Me neither. We <laughs> both thought that with what he said in the second or third episode. Well, it that, could still happen. Yeah, that he might have plans to uh, overturn the king and put Grisha uh, on the map, like well, <laughs> to create something with the Grishas and be like, uh, like. A king of him, uh, for him, himself. himself a, Jeez, a, a we can't king. speak today. No, we no, can't. But honestly, though, it well, would, it would fit with what he said this episode too, because he's been saying he's the only one who's been fighting this war. Basically, he's the only one who makes attempts at stopping this and helping the country, and everyone else seems to be working against him. So, in for I saw it as you know a confession, and I I felt bad for him and pity and stuff. But then, if you think about what we said last episode. It could also give him the idea that he's the best fit for you know f for for this this role as king. Like mm -hmm. if he if he wanted to, it is govern. true that from what we saw from the king, uh, he's not doing shit. He's not doing shit. And he's, it looks more like a uh, joke of a king than a king. Well, you know? it's not so much that he's a joke of a king, but. He doesn't. You know, he's not Grisha. So for Grishas who are being used as weapons, he could represent you know a a no good king like someone you don't really want to follow someone you don't see the point of following because first of all you're stronger and you do more for the war than than he does because your power actually matters and your but influence didn't matters said, though, that with new technology grishas were more or less not as powerful as they used to be because yeah, well, if you use guns against grishas the guns will win against the grishas <laughs> It's true that, you know, there are ways to fight Grishas and stuff, but Grishas are still very powerful. Yeah, no doubt no, no, about, uh, no, about that. <laughs> you really cannot speak today. No, I can't. But you know, I think that, you know, it's not too far-fetched to imagine that he might 
think that he's the best suited for the role, considering, especially this episode he was saying, he's the only one, you know, doing this job. And people look up to him, he's got power. He's an amplifier, a human amplifier, so no matter who follows him, you know, he can make them even more stronger. Mm -hmm. uh, and even if we, and if we take that aside, you know, he's a human being who was blamed for something he never really did or even if he wasn't blamed you know it's the fact that it's it, it's a weight on his shoulders kind of like alina yeah. he is a living reminder of the guy who did this shit so i see why he made it his life purpose to change things you know to erase the fall then in comes alina who's you know a sun summoner so a summoner like him who you know is rare one of the only well the only one out there apparently so kind of like him and strong kind of like him and they have a connection and they both felt the same their entire lives except that she had mal in her life and he's mm -hmm. a link that she wants to keep alive or at least wanted to keep alive and something that kept making her say you know oh i want to go back eventually i want to go back to my old life or it's not um, gonna be it for me and he's like ah, but i i feel like he wants her with him because she's such she represents so much for him that maybe, he's, and it doesn't show right now, but I feel like he, he could grow possessive of her. Hence the not giving her the letters, because for, for real, like, if she's not getting the letters, who do you think is, is in charge of but, making sure she gets yeah, it? Yeah, if you're talking about conspiracies, do you think that... Oh, well, you can't, you can't send, them, send them either. No, th that's what Mal said, right? You can't send his letters. Uh, Mal sent his letters, but he's she, not sending them either. He's not receiving her letters, and she's not received his letters. Yeah, but Mal cannot send them. He said that he ma he tried to, you know, send letters to the little palace through, you know, other Grishas, and they laughed at him and stuff. So he cannot send his letters, but she doesn't receive, you know, she doesn't, she cannot send hers either. And in this case, she's not aware that he's not receiving anything. So I'm guessing he, Kerrigan is the one that keeps the letters. Mm -hmm. So that's but the portrait I've got. Do you think, if we are talking about conspiracies, that they are doing it on purpose for her to think that she's alone and go to Kerrigan? You know? Well, for the, the overall plot, it makes sense to want to severe that connection you know, that she has, because it's what's keeping her down. It's what, it's a reminder of, I don't want to be different. You know, I, I, I have a friend to go back to in the, the first star, in the first army, second army, which one is the, the Grisha first, one? Second army. Anyway, so first army then, uh, she's got someone to go back there to, uh, she's got, she's still got a safe place in the normal world. So she's mm -hmm. not completely ready and so becoming bad. Grisha for her is a, you know, a, like the the flashback she had in this episode, becoming Grisha fully is a clear separation from you know for her and Mal. So it was what she was at risk of being separated with them because if she was a Grisha, she would have be taken been taken away. So she's been fighting against that possibility her entire life. So he is keeping her down when it comes to her power. So the, in the following the general plot, I feel like keeping her separated is good. If you wanted to become a strong, powerful, you know, sun summoner, if you look at Kirigan, maybe he feels that being alone, not having ties and stuff would help. I feel like, like I said, he's got strong emotional connections with her because of what she represents, considering what he's been through. So maybe he wants to keep her for himself, sort of. So that could explain also why he would not send her letters. But... I don't know for you, but the fact that he told her that they're go he's gonna stand by her side and they're gonna do great things together. Uh, well, they are supposed to do great things. Yeah, yeah, but in a good or bad way. That's the thing that I don't know and I'm afraid of. I don't know why because we feel so bad about Kirigan. Like, well, why we look at him like some sort of villain. It might be because he's called the Dark Lane. <laughs> <laughs> it's because of his shadows. For but well, no, it's, it's I, such I, a prejudice. I, 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 I think that we might have a better opinion of what he would do because we think that somehow there's a chance for him to overthrow the king and just do a rebellion and that's not an impossible thi uh, thing to think well, about. Well for now what we know is he's trying to destroy the fold and win the war. Yeah but after af after that what, uh, what, what about it after that? I don't know but for, uh, f what we know from this episode is that he really really likes Alina. <laughs> Both of them are getting closer and yeah, closer. Yeah they are pushing it yeah. And I don't, I don't think it was a coincidence that he, he took you know the time to go out riding with her and told her all about his personal life and told her his even, name. Even and... trying to give her his color? Well I mean because he's not have black color. To me this looks like a, a 
kind of a, I'm gonna a match. kid's thing, you know? Like, oh shit, finally I've got someone who's kind of like me around, so I, I don't feel a woman anymore. Or, you know, like sometimes couple we wear matching colors. Well, no, but don't. It's not that. It's not that yet. Who says not that yet? Because they're not that close. Maybe you think of her as that right now. You don't know that. No, but it's a thing. Like, for him, he embraced this power. He embraced this person, you know, of what he represented. And he made it and he turned it into his weapon. And she's taking it as a weakness, as something who makes her too different and something that she wants to reject. So yeah. he's trying to have her be proud of what she represents because he really likes what she represents. Because I feel like... It's everything that he's been waiting for, like he said. So putting on the colors would both, you know, make sure that he's got someone like him around and also help her accept who she is, which is what he's aiming for. Mm -hmm. So I think it's because we definitely, like, it's it's clear that they're aiming at a romance and that this is where we're going to go with them. <laughs> so I think that's why you're focusing on, oh, he wants, you know, he, he wants her as is and stuff. And I'm like, <laughs> Wait, oh. come on, it's pretty because of that day want to put a, a, a some sort of love triangle between her and Mal and General Kerrigan. Well, it's so, not yeah. it's not much of a fucking triangle if you know if she thinks that's Mal's <laughs> grandmother. Yeah, no. Yeah, it, he's gonna show up. Like he's got the deer, so hopefully he, can, he brings it back. And by the way, like this is another thing. Like, are they looking through her stuff? Like, has she shared this with Kerrigan? I don't think so. So I'm guessing well, that he's got spies the, the and stuff. The ones in charge at the library knew that she was looking. Yeah, but they stole her drawing. Yeah. Or I mean, they made it look. It it kind of looks like she might have you know shared it with Kurgan, and he was like, oh fuck, okay, you dreamt of it, so it's a thing, so we're gonna you know look for it. But then we didn't see this, so mm -hmm. I'm guessing they stole the drawing. So they looked through her stuff. They stole the drawing. They thought it was interesting, and then he's looking for it without her knowing. So maybe. I don't, don't know. know. For her? Looking for the, the deer for her? Maybe. I would assume well, that, you know. we know that Diddy would be able to make her stronger. Because that's yes. an amplifier, yes. right? Yes. Uh, and, I mean, we definitely agreed last episode that she would need that, probably, <laughs> to take care of the fold. Yeah. And I'm guessing that everyone, right, like, th this is my, my certainty for now. Everyone wants to fold gone, sort of. So, everyone that matters in this show, at least. Mm -hmm. uh, because... It's not convenient. <laughs> and, you know, the people uh, in the East want to reconnect with the other side because a bigger army, uh, one that can that they can control and stuff, is going to be more powerful than a separate one, considering there's one side of it that seems to be, you know, aiming for civil war, which we saw last episode too. Yeah. But, uh, so I think, you know, finding the deer to make Alina very strong and get rid of the fold is important. But then it's true. What happens after that? We'll see. I don't, I'm not even sure they get rid of the fold this season, so... <laughs> we'll see. We will All see. Right. And uh, with our group from from Ketterdom, uh, I just love them so much. I know, like, I know some, uh, one of you guys actually said in the comments, you know, don't, don't forget, you know, it, it's about Shadow and Bone, oh, it's about Alina. We're not forgetting, we're just, I know. we're just gonna wait for Six of Crows to come out someday. I, well, yeah, but I am gonna fangirl. And by the way, it's been, you know, uh, it's official now that they, they have a second season coming. So that's pretty cool. I'm. Uh, I love the fact that it's uh, it, the show is gonna keep going because I'm. I'm loving it so far. I'm mm -hmm. in love with the characters. Like they have. They have so much personality. I think this is why I, I like the ones from Ketterdam a lot more. It's it, first of all, I knew the characters before because of the book. Yeah. But then, it's always fun to follow a villain. You know, <laughs> follow people who create schemes and, and go on heists and stuff. Like, it's, it, it gives them so much personality, mm -hmm. I feel like. So, not that Alina but doesn't have it, a personality. It is but... true that on screen, not in real life, but on screen, I love seeing uh, schemes and plans and heists <laughs> being played, you know. Not in real life. Not in real life. <laughs> but, uh, no, but to, to be honest, like, it's not like Alina and Mal don't have a personality. Uh, but I feel like I'm more attracted to the ones from Kaz and Inej and Jesper than I am with the one with Alina's personality. Uh, not that I don't like Alina because she is like to me the tragic hero that I usually root for. It's just that uh, after reading the Six of Crows, I think it's easier for me you to connect with Kaz. You should read the Shadow and Bone books then. I found the other one first. I didn't even know, like, when I found Six of Crows, I didn't know Shadow and Bone was a thing. Like, I didn't know it was, uh, 
part of the universe and stuff. Like, mm-hmm. I, I saw a review about Six of Crows online. I was like, oh, fuck, okay. Uh, it looks like a good story. So I bought the book. And when, once I read it, I saw, you know, at, at the end of the book, sometimes they, they will recommend other books from the same author or universe. And that's when I figured out that, oh, shit, okay, there's three other books about this universe. <laughs> All right. Uh, but, yeah, uh, I think that... Um, they, they they are just so intelligent. They they exactly they know exactly what they can do. They know exactly how to do it, and they're not afraid to use their skills, <laughs> manipulate people, and just go at it. Like there's no. I think that uh, you know I'll take Kaz as, as an example. But when you look at him in the first few episodes and stuff, he he looks like a guy that like you know he dresses proper. He's the boss of his place. You know he likes to be in a position of power and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you think that, you know, pretending to be someone else and, you know, dressing himself up and acting different would be below him, maybe? But it's definitely not because he's used to doing everything in order to get his fucking goal. <laughs> so you got it. And uh liked also the little hint at Inej's past because I think I she did say she was in a troupe, right? Yeah, so. I think. I'm, I'm not well, that's sure where, what I think. Uh, from the book, uh, if I remember correctly, that's uh, where she got her skills when it comes to, you know, uh, walking on roofs and, and doing all sorts of acrobatics and stuff. So. Well, it did come in handy then. Yeah. And Jesper with with his shooting. I would have loved, like, I am, I don't know if they're hyping it up, but I, I am waiting for him, for Kaz, to open a fucking luck. Because <laughs> yeah. that's his skill. But then, like it's, like we said, and we it makes might sense. might see later, but like, like, yeah, like you said, not showing everything might be in your best interest. And in yes, case. you don't want people to know because that's that's his strength. Actually, if uh, if people know, you can break any luck in any second, you know, and they won't, you know, tie you up if they ca- if they ca- catch you. They won't tie you up the same way they will others, you know. Mm-hmm. But if they don't know. And you get caught, and they put, you know, shackles on you and stuff. Then you play you play the guy who's, oh, shit, they caught me and stuff. And once they turn their back, choo choo But yeah, I think what, I think Kaz would have been great with a Udini act. That well, would have been great. If he had to actually show a skill, that's what he would have done. That's what I imagined, too. I was like, okay, he's gonna fucking, you know, tie himself up somewhere <laughs> and be like... Yeah, like, wiggling around. <laughs> something like that. But then, no, no, it's, it makes a lot more sense that you keep that ace... You know, he's like, I'll figure a way, you know, I'll, I'll mm-hmm. make my own way over there. Mm-hmm. And I totally believe him. <laughs> All right. So that was episode four for you guys. Yes. Very good episode. Once again, I'm very excited. Like how, how many episodes do we have in this? Eight? Eight. So, okay. We're, we're going to set Add things two. up for the finale. Yeah. And, uh, and it's going to be awesome. All so right. thank you guys so much for watching this with us. If you want to see the next episode right away, it is on Patreon already, or it will be very soon. Check it out. The link is in the description. And if you don't, wait for the next one to be out on YouTube, which will be next week, guys. Yes. See you in seven days. Bye.